As long as there is demand, there will always be some miscreant peddling a cheaper, more accessible high, regardless of the danger it poses to users. A popular psychoactive product since the early 2000s is synthetic cannabinoids, also known as herbal incense and synthetic marijuana. Herbal incense is created when manufacturers spray synthetic cannabinoids onto dried plant matter, usually damiana leaf or dried mugwort. The leaf, which is smoked, serves as the vehicle that holds the drug. The chemical compounds sprayed on it are called synthetic cannabinoids because of their similarity to the primary compound in cannabis. But the term synthetic marijuana is deceiving because these chemicals don't always act like cannabis. They can have unexpected side effects such as anxiety, paranoia, hallucinations, vomiting, violent behavior, even suicidal thoughts. Furthermore, users can't be sure what chemicals have been sprayed onto the plant matter or in what quantity. Herbal incense has been found to contain everything from the opioid fentanyl to actual rat poison. Herbal incense is illegal because it contains either controlled substances or analogs of controlled substances. Despite its potential danger, these products can still sometimes be purchased through normal retail channels, going by brand names such as K2, Spice, Joker, and Scooby Snacks. They're often packaged in brightly colored bags with cartoon characters. Guess what demographic they're targeting? In the interest of protecting public safety and conforming to federal law, payment providers and internet platforms should carefully scrutinize any merchants selling products marketed as herbal incense, liquid incense, or described as a legal high.